So we're about to start this mandibular fracture case. You can see the lower, lower jaw is fractured in two places. So this guy had a road traffic accident and uh, he's got a displaced fracture, especially the one in front. It's a young guy, he's 17 years old. There's no occlusion. He had loss of consciousness as well, but no head injury. We're gonna fix this with open reduction and internal fixation. I'm gonna be using the intraoral approach so that he doesn't get any scar. That's a clear fracture of the angle of the body. It's a favorable fracture on the angle. And this is the unfavorable or a displaced fracture of the parasymphysis. Parasymphysis fracture on the left side, the angle fracture is on the right side. So this is his occlusion currently. You can see that part of the lower jaw is totally fractured and free. So we're gonna fix this, open reduction, internal fixation. I'm gonna be using some titanium plates and screws and get him good reduction and fixation. So we've just completed with internal fixation. So you can see here, uh, we've used two plates. Uh, one is a four hole with a gap, without a gap. This is just beneath the base of the roots. And this is at the lower border. And you see we've got very good production. You can see that the fracture can show different angles. So we can see, all right, so you can see this. That's a mental nerve. Intact, no damage whatsoever. Right, then we move on to the angle fracture. So we've reduced this one as well. I'm going to you the size of the fixation. So I hope you can see the structure on it. And uh, you see the fracture that's the running, that's the place it's running from. Huh? And it's going all the way down. So I've pinned this plate on the Milohair ridge for extra stability. And uh, here also, this grows across. I'll show you this. So this is a very rigid fixation. All right, now let me show you the occlusion. So we've got 100% perfect occlusion. You can see this, both posteriorly, anteriorly. I haven't used any eyelids, we haven't used any arch bars. I'm not planning to use it for the that discomfort for the patient. And in this case, when you achieve 10% occlusion with rigid fixation, there's no need for anything else.